Well, the torrential rain wreaked havoc. Simply put, our water treatment systems couldn't keep up. So the overflow of dirty, untreated water is being released into Lake Michigan as I speak. Julia Fellow has an in-depth look at how the city's deep tunnel works and why it is now up to all of us to stop this overflow. Three decades ago, Bill Graffin with our Milwaukee Metropolitan Sewerage District says we would average about 50 to even 60 overflow events a year. It is when dirty, untreated water is released right into Lake Michigan. It's shower water. It's what you use to wash your dishes in the sink. And yes, it is also what you are flushing down the toilet. We're now down to one or two overflows a year. That is thanks to our more than 19 mile long deep tunnel. Think of it like a big bathtub, about 300 feet underground, which can hold up to 521 million gallons of water. But because of the unrelenting rain from this weekend, our deep tunnel is now 90% full and the water people are using in the Milwaukee area has nowhere to go. We have to reserve room in the tunnel for separate sewer flow that's going to come at us sometimes not till 12 hours after the storm hits. Right now as we speak, is there untreated water going into yeah. Lake Michigan right now? Yeah. And we don't want that. No. No. At 11:15 Sunday night, our overflow of dirty water started going into our area rivers, which feeds right into Lake Michigan. Graffin says there is no question this will result in higher levels of bacteria, which could lead to beach closures. How much of untreated water do you think is going into Lake Michigan right now? That's a really hard question to answer. 90% or more is rainwater and groundwater. So with all of this excess water, sewage district leaders say they are stuck between a rock and a hard place. It's either let the water back up into our homes or release some of the dirty water into our rivers, which leads to our beautiful Lake Michigan. A reminder that we all need to do our part. What are you asking people to do for maybe the next few days? Oh, use less water if you can. Erin Povak saw the sewage district's water drop alert on her phone this morning, which texted her, please use less water to help reduce sewer overflows. To think about all of that uh, tainted water and sewage flowing directly into it, it's it's a little, you know, disheartening, I suppose. But as a program director at the nonprofit conservation organization called Sweetwater, Hovac shares easy ways you can help protect our lake year round. One thing that I have on my property is a rain barrel and a rain garden, and that really does help slow the flow of water. Do you think that makes a difference, people doing that? Oh yeah, absolutely. So if we manage that water where it falls, it, it's going to soak into the ground naturally and um, we're going to have fewer problems. Graffin says taxpayers invested about $4 billion over the last three decades to reduce these overflows. It's unknown how long it will take for this current overflow to recede. But at the end of the day, it may be up to all of us to keep this precious resource safe. Julia Fellow, TMG4 News.